Hello everybody! Good day to you! So, today I've got a little bit of a weird project. So, my garden here um, has this, this part in it. Um, once upon a time, they were digging in my car garden to put in the sewer system. Um, because my house didn't have a sewer system when I bought it, so we had to dig in one. And all of these rocks that you see here, and here, and lining my parking lot, all came out of the sewer system when they were digging. All these rocks used to be on the ground. Now, I lined all these rocks around here to make a flower bed. Um, but there's a problem, let me show you. There used to be two trees in here. Here's the stump of one tree, and here's the stump of the other tree. Now, these are making the flower bed very uneven and difficult to use. So, I've got a plan for this one. I want to carefully, emphasis on carefully, try and burn a hole in that stump to make it go away and rot and all that kind of stuff. So, step one. I'm gonna water all the land. I'm gonna water all the grass and leaves and everything around the stump to make it nice and wet so the fire doesn't spread away from the stump. So let's get started doing that first. Okay, now that it's nice and wet, I know I should have done this the other way around, but now I'm gonna take away all the rocks that are next to it and then use the clipper to take away all of the brush that is high, too high. The more brush you take away, the less chances are there is gonna be a spread of fire. So let's do that now. Okay. As you can see, I've took away all the grass around it. It's now a little circle of dirt around the tree stump. Just to make sure that the fire is not gonna spread. Um, I am gonna put more water on it again, just to really soak and drench the earth around it. And then it's firing time. All right, let's put this water on here. Well, as you can see, I have really drenched the area with water. I really don't want to be responsible for a forest fire around here. Now I feel really good about how wet it is over here and all the grass is away, so there's nothing to catch fire. Now there's nothing else to it but to set fire to the thing and hopefully burn away this stump. So for the, those of you that haven't seen this before, people set fire to stumps. That way the fire goes into the stump and kind of burns it from the inside out. I'm hoping to achieve that so that we get rid of this thing because this is where we want to plant flowers. So yeah, I'm gonna start making a fire now. Oh, and just so you guys know, I am not leaving this fire. I'm gonna stay next to it. I've got the hose with the... I've got a garden hose with water here. I'm staying close to the fire just to make sure nothing happens. I'm taking all precautions. <laughs> Well, as you can see, I'm sitting here on the bench, keeping an eye out on that fire. And uh, so the goal of this fire is that you create some really hot coals and those coals are gonna lay down on the flat surface of the tree stump and that will start digging into the tree stump. <clears throat> so it's important 
Like right now the fire is all tall, but I want it to sink down into the tree stump. And once it's actually sinking down to the tree stump, it's gonna be a lot easier to get rid of. The last part probably is gonna be me just hacking away with it with an ax uh, once the fire has gone out and I've dug into it deeply enough with the fire. And then, you know, get the last pieces out with an, with an ax and then we can fill it up with dirt and uh, we should have a flower bed. But for now, it's a waiting game. I'm just gonna see, I'm just gonna sit here, watch some YouTube on my phone and wait until this fire does its job. And every once in a while, I'm just gonna sprinkle some more water around it just to keep it wet, to keep the fire from spreading because that's the last thing I want. I also am right next to the kitchen door here and I've got a fire extinguisher in there if it's needed. Um, this is an experiment. I'm doing this for the first time and I just want to make sure that it all goes well. All right, I'll see you a little bit later and uh, we'll see if it's working or not. So I've been sitting on this couch watching the fire, right? To make sure nothing goes wrong. And I thought of an idea, like I'm avoiding filming the fire for now because I want to keep it for a surprise. <laughs> but here, when I, in the last episode, set up this little greenhouse tent. We've got these cut open barrels and we have two of these that are just, you know, a ring. There's no bottom to it. So I was like, why don't I just put one of the rings around the fire? So that is what I've done. I put one of these rings around the fire and now the fire is contained inside the ring. I just spray the outside with water every once in a while. And voila, even safer. So yeah, awesome. I feel a lot better about burning this stump right now with this ring on top of it. I think it's gonna do great. So I'm gonna continue sitting over there. I'm gonna do some work on my laptop over there, make some vlogs for you guys, while I'm just making sure that this keeps going the way it should. So you can see the fire in the thing there, but at the bottom over there, you see, it's actually starting to burn the log. It's actually doing what I was hoping it would, and it's burning away the log or the tree stump. And uh, yeah, by keeping the ground wet around it, it's not spreading anywhere, so that's awesome. So I'm gonna call that a success. I don't know how long it will take for me to burn uh, away as much as I need it to burn away, but it's doing awesome. So I'm happy already. Like every once in a while, I'll just start a fire here and have it burn away. I don't know how far along it will get today. I don't think I will be able to burn the entire tree stump away just today, but who knows? I have been wrong before. Okay, it's uh, starting to be evening. I have cleaned up for today and this guy is almost done burning. Um, I think that piece of metal is still very hot. Let's check out how hot it is because I don't want to lift it up. I mean, I do want to look at the stump to see how much we burned away, but I also don't want to burn my hands. So let's check this out first. Okay, got some water. Let's see how hot this is. Oh, that's not too bad. All right, good. All right, let me douse all this because again, I'm going inside and I don't want to set the forest on fire. Well, now it's time to remove that metal ring. I mean, it isn't gone, but it's pretty good. I'm not, I'm not mad about it. This is, yeah, this is pretty good. So yeah, as you can see, we have eaten away quite a bit of it. Um, 
it's still a lot of a stump left but I think this technique with especially with the ring on top of it will work so yeah I think from now on every time uh, we have some scrap wood that we don't want to burn inside or something or just pieces of wood you would just put the ring on there burn it and every time we burn it a little bit of the stump disappears if you decide to do this please be careful uh, it is i do think we're gonna get the dry period and we don't want to set forests on fire i did everything i could think of to make sure that this went safely and uh yeah so hey if you're not subscribed please subscribe like the video it will help me a lot and uh, see you all in the next episode. Bye. Please like and subscribe. And if you want to support us or just want something that Li Hao has made, you can buy this little notebook, Look for Stars. The links are in the description, all on Amazon, and you can buy them. See, you can make some beautiful notes in there. The video that just popped up, that one is, according to YouTube, something you will like. So try looking at that one. See you all later. Bye.